Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here and we are back with another top 5 and today it's going to be the top 5 hardest to tame creatures in Ark. Now we've done another poll like we've done with the last few recent top 5 so everyone that's a subscriber got to vote and uh, pick what they thought was the hardest creature to tame so we're going to be using that uh, in this list and as well like with what I think is the hardest creatures to tame so obviously this list isn't perfect <laughs> everyone might think of something different but uh, yeah let me know in the comment section what you think of this list if you agree or if you're not and don't forget to smash thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe as well and once you're subscribed you'll get a notification of when the next top five is you can have your input and then your comment might be shown at the end of the video so uh, let's just jump straight into it at uh, number five all right, so in at number five, we're going to go for the giant bee. So this one hasn't been in Ark that long, actually, but it's quite a nuisance to tame. So what you need to do is find a beehive, which are normally found uh, in the redwoods or on the side of a cliff, depending on what maps you're on. And you then have to proceed to break open the beehive by shooting it, eating it with a creature, or just blowing it up with some C4, <laughs> however you want to do it. So sometimes there will be a giant queen bee in the nest, uh, other times there'll be nothing, just, just honey. I mean, honey's good, you kind of need that sometimes. So uh, yeah, when there is a queen bee in there, you'll break the nest open and a drone of bees will come and attack you. They will dismount you off your creature if you're not careful. But uh, yeah, kill them, uh, you need to get a ghillie suit on, you need to get some bug repellent and you need to passively tame the bee with rare flowers or whatever its kibble is and uh, yeah, you just got to keep putting it in his butt until it's tamed up. You've got to be careful not to touch the queen bee because more drones will come and attack you. There's like drones all the time, it's really annoying and especially if you're in the redwoods. <laughs> like if you're in the redwoods, everything in the redwoods wants to kill you. So it is quite a pain. Um, I've tried this quite a few times, I've died a lot of times, I've killed the queen a lot of times back because they don't have much health. So these are hard, but they're definitely not the hardest. Alright, so in at number 4, we're going to go for the Rock Elemental. Now, the reason this is one of the hardest creatures to tame and why it's on the list is kind of the resources you need to actually get this thing tamed. So, the way to get this down is you want to be giving it a headache by shooting rockets or cannibals into its head until it passes out. The best way to do it is build a trap around it, so you've got to go out and find it. They're normally uh, enclosed in rocks, so, I mean, sometimes it can be difficult to find, other times they stand out quite a lot. So you want to get it get it up, you want to get it into a trap using like uh, metal all around itself which can be quite expensive. You then need to get a cannon or a rocket launcher and then shoot it in its face. It has to be in the face. Both of these are not exactly cheap to make so you need, you need to be quite high level I think to get all the materials and stuff ready for this. Uh, once it's down though, I would definitely only recommend giving it Mantis Kibble because it's just going to take forever otherwise. On official rates, don't fully quote me on this, they probably change a little bit. But if you have a 150 down, just say you have no Mantis Kibble and all you have is stone, you're going to have to feed it 4,000 stone and it's going to take 119 hours. <laughs> like, that is insane, no one has that amount of time. If you've got a 150 down and you have Mantis Kibble, it only takes uh, 50 minutes. So yeah, definitely just use Kibble, I would not recommend using anything else. Like, don't even go and tame one otherwise. But uh, yeah, the reason this is in at number four is just the resources you need, the accuracy you need to be able to shoot it in its head, and it can be in a quite dangerous area if you're like on Scorched Earth or something. So yeah, this one is in at number four. So in at number three, we're gonna go for the Phoenix. Now this can only be found on Scorched Earth and only during a heat wave. And when there is a heatwave, there's only going to be one, and it could be pretty much anywhere on the map. So the first step is actually finding it, which is quite hard to do. And then you have to proceed by just setting it on fire. You just have to go to town on this thing, and that's how you tame it. So the best way to do this is find the phoenix during the heatwave. Make sure you don't die. That's that's one challenge just there. Find it. Once the heatwave's done, it will then disintegrate into an ash pile. Now you need to find where that ash pile is on the floor, and then I'd recommend building like uh, a cage it's got to be I think it's five walls high because um, then once the next heat wave happens this Phoenix will be reborn from the ashes at the same spot and it'll be stuck inside this cage building whatever you want to make and then you just have to proceed on lighting up so you can use fire arrows you can use a flamethrower or the best way obviously is to use a fire wyvern you want to just like I said just set it alight just keep burning it it will take 
quite a long time to tame up. They're not exactly quick, but yeah, just keep doing it until it's tamed up. And um, yep, yeah, that's it. There you go, you have it. But uh, yeah, the reason this is in number five, obviously they're rare. Uh, you've got to survive the heat wave. You've got to get, obviously, a lot of materials or a fire iron to actually tame this thing up as well. So that's the reason it is in at number three. Okay, so in at number two is the Trudon. Now, this is one of my favorite creatures in Ark, and of course, it's one of the hardest to tame. So it has its very own unique taming method in where you have to sacrifice a couple of your creatures to tame this thing. Um, definitely do it at night time. It gets like, I believe it's a 40% better taming at night time, so that's when you want to do it. And then there's no actual guide on what creatures you, you need to feed it, but there is a rough one which I'll read out now. So the one you want to feed most is a Giga, of course that's quite hard to get, then followed by a Wyvern, Spino, Rock Elemental, Rex, Megalosaurus, uh, Bronto, and then anything below that you kind of probably just want to avoid because it's going to take too long. So there's different ways to do this. Um, I like to like say get a Giga, get as many eggs as you can, and then build like a, an enclosure type of thing, hatch the baby Gigas. You can put them unconscious or you can like knock them down to like one health say. Drop a Trudon in there and it's not going to actually aggro onto the babies, it's going to only aggro onto you. So you want to kind of put yourself between like put the Giga between you and the Trudon so it attacks it or get another creature and stand on it and try and get the Gigas like in the way type of thing until it eats it. There is a feeding interval of sorts, there's no hard evidence like how long it is but they say roughly like a minute and a half so if it kills like three in a row then it might not actually count so you've kind of got to bear that in mind as well. Um, the good thing is though if it does get attacked, say you're doing this in the world and it gets attacked, it's not going to lose any taming on it which is pretty good because <laughs> these things are hard as dicks to tame. But uh, yeah, if you're going to tame one of these, definitely get some dinos you don't mind you uh, losing. I would definitely recommend getting a Giga because anything else is going to take too long. Like if you do dodos, you're looking at something like 100 or some dodos you're going to sacrifice to get a trude on. But yeah, these guys are definitely worth it, but yeah, they are very hard to tame and that's the reason these are in at number two. Okay, so number one, the hardest creature to tame in Ark is kind of, it will be no surprise to most of you, it's obviously the Titan. So this is definitely like the end game creature that you want to tame. Um, the only problem is on official servers, it doesn't last forever. You only get it between uh, something like 16 and 20 hours, but the thing is, it is OP as dicks. So <laughs> that's the reason behind this. So to actually tame this, you need to get, um, there's a few things you get. You get like the catapult, um, the rocket or the the cannonballs. You can also actually now use the Rex tech saddle or the Tapahara tech saddle, which is quite cool. There's no real stats on how effective they are, but the way to do it is get a, a cannon. Um, you want to shoot it in its head. It has to be in the head and eventually it will go down. They do take quite a lot though, so even a level 1 is going to take 21 cannonballs to its head. That's without missing any, so it's going to take a lot of resources to actually get that ready and I don't know if, where if you put in your cannibal on a on the back of a Quetzal or something like on the platform saddle so you're probably gonna find this hard to solo tame definitely do it with a tribe because it could take you forever you could make like a hundred cannibals and end up missing every single shot and then it's just a waste but yeah once this thing's tamed it's gonna destroy everything that's the reason it makes it they've made it so hard to tame so you can't just you know one night just go hey I'm gonna tame a Titan and destroy you know wipe the server <laughs> there's a reason it's hard to tame um, just so you don't destroy every server you run but uh, yeah this thing is stupidly hard um, you need a lot of resources the only good thing is though you don't actually have to feed it once it's like unconscious you just go in it's entry whack a saddle on it and uh, that's it <laughs> it's tamed up like that so uh, I suppose that, this, that that makes it a little easier, but yeah, this is definitely the hardest creature to tame in Ark. Um, I've still yet to even tame one. <laughs> That's how hard it actually is. But uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Number one, the Titan. Okay, so that was the top five hardest creatures to tame in Ark. Of course, everyone's going to have the different views on this because everyone has different experiences in Ark. So I don't know, for some of you, maybe the Dodo is the hardest thing to tame. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section if you agreed, disagreed, and what your top five was as well. And definitely stick around for the end because we're going to have um, some comments from the subscribers that took part in the poll. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you soon. 
You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. 